Well, this is a General Electric. I bought this for four bucks, and it was half priced, so it was actually two bucks. So I'm happy. It's actually a relatively nice little cassette recorder, shoebox standard. However, it looks nothing like any General Electric I've ever seen. The buttons are close, but the grill is completely different. And usually they have a little indentation here or an eject button. This one has two notches on either side. However, what remains the same is this and the complete lack of an auxiliary input. There is a 6 volt input, an earphone, a microphone, and remote. On the back is a battery compartment that opens the opposite direction. The foam is still good. You can see a bit of the speaker down in there. Date code of 3131. No idea what that means at all. If anybody understands General Electric Take Notes, please tell me. On the back it says General Electric, model N0, uh, no, 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 no. model number 35014C, battery operated cassette recorder, made in Singapore. It's not, it's an okay condition, it's well used, I would say. When I got it, when I first plugged it in and tried it, nothing came out at all. So, I did what I usually do when I come to a machine that doesn't play back. I hold the stop down and I put in a blank cassette and hit the record button a whole bunch of times. Works a lot, uh, helps a lot when you're trying to test the machine because it may all just be an oxidized uh, recording switch. And when you do that, it knocks all the oxide out of it and you can record. Worked fine. Goofy thing is, we, tried, we actually tried recording. We recorded for a good 20 minutes on it at school. And... Uh, we ch was um, put taken out of record mode four times and put back in four times. And uh, the last time we were trying recording, it didn't. Oh, pardon me. It didn't erase the tape. So we got like music in the background. It was really kind of annoying, actually. On the front, you've got the standard stuff. You've got record, rewind, fast forward, play, stop, and the internal condenser, which isn't very common on General Electric so far that I've seen. It has a pull out handle. Nothing really on the front. I found it odd that this button isn't different colored, but that's the way they were on most Gen Electrics. Oh yeah, and the volume controls there. Original AC adapter. It's one of those weird doomahickeys that automatically switches from 6 and 7 volts. And it was helped in part by... The Realistic, which still hasn't got a video. However... Old batteries, eh? because they aren't batteries. An original, these were, these had never been used. This is an original still sealed Coleco power, uh, Perma Power from 1982. It says so down on the bottom right there in the fuzzy print. This is just the Perma Power things. That's brilliant. Still has a Woodward sticker on it there. 15 bucks slash to 7.99, and then I bought it for like three bucks. Except I've noticed that these things heat up like a son of a gun. So I'm actually going to pop those out of there somehow before they melt down the tape recorder. And they're actually long, slightly longer than most C cells, so they take up a lot of battery compartment space. But uh, anyway, I've been blabbering on long enough. Let's put in the test tape that I made for the GE. I did it entirely on a microphone because. No matter what I set the level to, it would not cooperate by using a line in on the um, microphone. And I, had, I had it turned way, way, way down, but it still wouldn't work without distorting, so here it goes. I used an equally vintage uh, Long and Symphonette cassette. Cell battery substitute. All right, how many of you can tell me what that song is? Give me a hint. It was performed in Saturday Night Fever by John Travolta back in I think it was '77, and it was performed by the Bee Gees. And I record its cover off of this set here. It's a KTEL cassette. I love KTEL.
back and I'll show you the pre-recorded music test on another KTEL tape. And for once, it shouldn't sound shrill because that's really muddy right now. The automatic stop even works. Brilliant. Enough of that. Long song, anyway. And most generally. A General Electric that Cassette Master does not have. It is. That's the motor. 35014C. That's a sensitive mic. I'd say 70s. And it looks interestingly different than most General Electric cassette recorders. I'll plug in the external mic, which is interesting. This is actually a Sanyo. I'll plug in the external mic so I can explain it better. Okay, now using an external microphone. I do have the original power supply, though. Anyway, this thing has a completely different door. It opens, you grab it on the other side and you lift it open, and it locks at the top of the motion. Automatic stop. The grill design is completely unusual for the machine. It has a condenser microphone, for once. And, and, I think it has AC bias. I'm not really sure. I think it probably is DC, but I don't know. I haven't actually had a chance to test it with a really good mic yet. So this is basically that test. I'm using a period Longin Symphonet uh, C60 cassette. I could have said that wrong. have a number of. This one looks completely different than the other ones, though. It's kind of odd. Anywho, testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. This thing has automatic level control, and this is the end of the test. Yeah. I guess it has AC bias, because that was pretty good sound. Even the condenser microphone wasn't too bad. Very sensitive, though. It doesn't record music too horribly well, though. I wouldn't expect it to, really. But I'm actually quite happy with this. This is a neat-looking cassette recorder. It's different. Um, I don't think they made very many with this style. I could be completely wrong, because I haven't really been able to look at, uh, or I haven't really found very many uh, videos, or actually I haven't found any videos at all, of this particular model. So that remains one that Cassette Master doesn't have, unless he's hoarded a bunch of them that he hasn't put videos up of, which he may well have done. I have no idea whether he has or not, but we'll soon see. Bye, all.